Hey, what's up? Welcome back, guys. It's your girl, Jazz, and I am trying some ugly drinks. Hopefully, they just don't taste ugly. Um, they are a, another brand of sparkling water. I have yet to find a good sparkling water, with the exception of sparkling ice. Now, those drinks are on point. These are supposed to be all-natural flavored sparkling water, so I'm going to Keep an open mind on this one and try it out. They do have numerous flavors. They do also have what they call energy water, which is really confusing considering the fact that this one says energized, and this is one of the regular flavors. They say no nothing artificial. No artificial sweeteners, no artificial sugars. Um, what else do they have? Let me see. Nothing artificial, no sugar, no sweetener. Guaravana, natural caffeine. Let's see. They do have some interesting limited time or limited edition flavors as well, which we haven't seen, which actually I, th I don't think, I think maybe the, no, this isn't berry. I was thinking it was grape. They do have a couple of limited edition. They have like cotton candies, sour watermelon, which I'm disappointed that it's not just a regular one because I love anything that's what, to actually taste like watermelon. I would say anything watermelon because that's obviously a lie. We've, uh, we've tried a couple of different things on camera, including uh, what they call W, was it WTR MLN or watermelon? It was a brand that was invested with Beyonce, and yeah, I wasn't happy with that. I was disappointed. Too much rind in there. Anyways, so I've yet to find a good natural watermelon drink in general. Fortunately, we don't have any watermelon flavored energy drink or flavored ugly drink, should I say. So unfortunately, I can't give credit or fuss about it either way. So we've got lemon lime, pink grapefruit, which I'm not sure about, berry, hmm, and peach. <laughs> Can you already tell which ones I, I'm not looking forward to versus I am? Now I will say that I have been surprised about some of the pink grapefruit drinks in general that I've tried. Some of them I'm like, when I hear pink grapefruit, I'm already like, nope, don't want to try that. But surprisingly, I've found a couple that I have tried. Primarily in focus groups, but I'm not supposed to talk about those. So. <laughs> but you don't know anything else other than that that was a flavor. This is confusing part. So you've got the ugly drink, Energized, but then you've got this one, which is Energy Water. You guys see what I'm talking about, what's confusing? So I would think that... I mean, what's really the difference between energized and energy water? They both have 160 milligrams of caffeine. So I'm confused about that. Hmm. Oh, also, they're also zero calories. So that's an added benefit. So you can chug these. Although, considering it's getting closer to bedtime, I'm not going to chug all of them at once. I probably wouldn't do that anyways, just because that would probably might make me sick. We're gonna try first pink grapefruit. So we'll smell it. The flavor smells really light. It does smell like a, the artificial, even though it says nothing artificial, but it has a lighter grapefruit smell to it. So I'm kind of optimistic about it. But we're gonna try it out. And I'm a bit disappointed because it doesn't have any color in it. But it says it has nothing in it. I'm going into my wine tasting mode. But instead of alcohol, you have caffeine. <laughs> I'm done reviewing. <laughs> Do I really have to try the rest of them? It just tastes like sparkling water and I don't like sparkling water with the exception of ice. That is a category all on its own. I have not found a good sparkling water. And I've heard people, with the, well, there's also bubbly. I like bubbly lemon lime. That's the only bubbly that I like. The rest of them, y'all can take those. <laughs> okay, we got a lemon lime. So uh, I'm keeping, keeping optimistic about it. I taste too much just water sparkling water why is it that whenever you just add that carbonation 
it completely changes the taste of water. Is it just me? Because I don't like sparkling water. I'm picky about the water that I drink. Mainly, especially if it comes with soda water. AKA Dr. Pepper, Big Red, um, Coke, Dr. Pepper, Big Red. Yeah, okay. You guys get the gist of it. <laughs> and yes, I did repeat those Dr. Pepper and Big Red twice because those are my favorite sodas. I'm trying to scrape the flavor off my tongue. I didn't taste any, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and double check on this one, but I didn't taste any grapefruit. I just tasted just bubbly water. Yeah, I can definitely tell that there's nothing added to it because it just tastes like water and not in a good way either. So once again, hopefully I don't get these too confused. <laughs> Ooh, I wouldn't say it smells like a Sprite or a 7-Up or Sierra Mist or any other lemon lime drinks. The, the lime is actually what I smell more of, and the reason I can tell the difference is because with the lime, it has a, a bit of a stronger tart smell to it, which, if you know, if you've ever had a lemon and lime back-to-back, -back, you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you'd be like, what does that mean? It has more of a sour smell to it. You just know. I see why y'all got the name ugly. Cause these drinks ain't pretty. And really, it just, it tastes like water. So it's not the worst sparkling water that I've tasted, but the, the flavor and the taste, I don't taste any grapefruit. I definitely smell lemon lime more than I taste. So again, I'm a little just really disappointed. Although the carbonation is getting to me. I'm trying not to be rude, so excuse me. Ooh. Wow, this one's literally filled up to the tippy top. So I have a dry finger. That's how filled up this one is. Uh oh, uh oh, it's gonna explode. So as soon as I squeeze it, it's gonna come to the top. I've never seen a can of soda this filled up. Wait. I can't wait down a little bit. Y'all know y'all come over here for my crazy antics over here. Tastes like berries. Or it smells like berries. I like fruit punch. I'm not a huge fan of just the berry flavors. I don't know why. It's just weird to me. The berry is definitely the strongest flavor, but I'm not a huge fan. And honestly, at this rate, the order that I'm tasting it, it seems like it's getting better. Grapefruit, I didn't have any flavor. I didn't have any taste. I did smell slight grapefruit. Lemon lime, nice smelling, which sounds funny. Nice smelling lemon lime flavor but I don't taste it. Now, berry, I'm actually tasting berry, and it's not the worst, but it's not that super strong either. And a very strong smell, by the way. All right, Peach, my last hope. Just so, just so you guys know, these are not the only four flavors. There are other flavors, which you can see right here, um, including the energized, they call it energy water as well as limited edition, which more than likely are sold out unless you get, you know, really lucky and find them online. But through ugly.com directly or uglydrinks.com directly, they're sold out. But I do want to try the Dr. Coke. Was it the Dr. Ugly and the Mountain Ugly? Those two I want to try, which I'm guessing is supposed to be like Dr. Pepper. We don't talk about Mr. Pip, by the way. That's not allowed around me because you will get ignored really quickly. I will not resort to physical violence though, but I will ignore you. <laughs> We're gonna try this. Oh, and then uh, the Mountain Ugly is supposed to, I'm guessing supposed to be like Mountain Dew, but 
we're not worried about that right now because we don't have that flavor. What are you doing? Ooh, I like the smell of the peach. It is more of an artificial smell, I will say that. More like the peach rings. That's what the smell reminds me of. Okay. The peach is probably, is definitely the winner as far as flavor goes, but it's still not super strong. Still not competing with my sparkling ice. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Still sticking with my sparkling ice. If I'm able to find more of these flavors, I would at least be willing to try them. But I would definitely have to get a single can. I cannot do a whole case because at this rate, the flavor isn't, isn't it doesn't pop. Now the peach does have that artificial taste to it. I will state as a, and I do apologize. I don't remember the commenter that made this because they're more of a newer commenter. They said that the Water burgers, peaches and cream had a really artificial taste and in their words gag. <laughs> and once once I figure out who that commenter is, I don't remember off the top of my head, I'll insert right here the name. So I will give you credit. Um you're not gonna like the peach because it tastes one hundred percent artificial. Which is really ironic because it does say nothing artificial. <clears throat> but um yeah. I guess I'm going to have to keep searching for some good sparkling ice replacement. <laughs> Just kidding, that, that stuff ain't going anywhere. And I will, I, I might actually find somebody for that strawberry watermelon sparkling ice. <laughs> it might be pipe worthy. <laughs> That's one thing I don't play with, with my drink and my food. Mm -mm. Ask Monger. I fought him too many times over my food. <laughs> See, he knows better. He knows to go to his corner. <laughs> All right, guys. I'd love to hear your opinions on the ugly drinks. I'm pretty sure that you guys have been curious about them. Especially since I see a lot of advertisement for them. And I've been wanting to try them. And now I regret it. <laughs> All right. If you have any questions, please drop them below. Any suggestions on new things I should try. In the meantime, I'm going to go find some real water. And I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned. Stay jazzy. Thanks for watching.